Consider refining the equation of the n squared circle with an n center. Great. So, Amar, what do I need to find that equation? Well, you need two points to find the radius. Okay. So we already know the left-hand side of the equation of the circle, right? The, yep. that, the so where, explain to me what, how you got that left side of the equation of the circle. Where did that come from? x minus 1 squared. Oh, so you will have the answer given to you, so we just have to plug into the equation. The equation of the circle. The equation of the circle. Okay, and then we need the radius. Yes. So how do I find a radius? So radius is all this messy work on the board. So, uh, so, so radius is this the green line. line. And you need to find the equation of a, a and b and from here to x. Okay, so, so the radius is the distance, right? So the okay. radius, so, um, so I'm going to use my distance formula. And what do I need to plug into my distance formula? Well, I need two points. Two points, okay. So one of my points is what? One four. One of my points is the in center, and where does the other point come from? Right here, the intersection of A, B, and green line. Okay, so that we're going to call that point X. X. So explain to me how I find. So in general, how do I find where two where two lines meet? How do I find that? How do I find that point X in general? So if you want to have a question, you need a slope and a point. So I think. Point A and B. So I find the slope of A and B, and also find the perpendicular slope of A and B, which is this. Well, so this is the slope of A and B, and this is the slope of the per this, this is the perpendicular slope. Okay. And I use I use A and B. Uh, the perpendicular slope of AB and the given in center. Yes. And then that gives us the equation, the equation. of what? Of the green line. The green line, which is the radius. So that gives us the equation of the green line, which happens to be the radius. It's not the length of the radius, it's not the distance of the radius, it's the equation of that green line. Mm -hmm. And then what other line do I want to use? A and B. A, the equation of the equation line of AB. B, yep. So what do I do to find that? So we're going to use this slope. And same can, slope. Mm -hmm. Same slope. And you can pick either A or B. And I picked A, a here. And this is the equation of A and B. The line AB. Yep. And then what do I do? Well, we need to set them equal to each other to find the intersection point. Okay, so that's what the work is down at the bottom there. Yep. So you set them all equal to each other. You did a lot of algebra with your calculator. Yes, I did. And x is the point negative 1, 5. So what exactly is that negative 1, 5? Where is, where is that point? It's right here, this x. Okay, so now we're going to take that point and what other point to find my distance? We'll use, we'll use the center. The in center and that x point of x, and we're going to plug it where? To the distance formula. Right distance here. formula, nice. So you got that distance formula memorized, nice. Mm -hmm. So we do all of our work, and you, I see there that you found the radius is the square root of 5. Nice. So the radius is the square root of 5. But my equation of the circle actually has what in it? It doesn't have radius in it, it has radius squared. squared. So you have to square that. Square that guy. Nice. Square root, and we'll have five for that. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Thank you.